Hey guys, Arlisha here and welcome to another video. Today I wanted to walk you through the process of painting this piece here and also talk to you guys about what kind of artist I want to be and we'll get more into what that means a little bit later. The full real-time version of this piece is available over on Patreon, so if you see any weird articulating of my hands that doesn't seem to match up with what I'm saying, like here, um, that's because I was talking to my patrons, which if you would like to sign up over on Patreon, you can have access to this real-time video as well as all of the other real-time videos I have posted there so far and lots of other cool, fun things. Before we get too deep into talking about this painting though, I do want to take a minute to thank Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Skillshare is for learning. This may be news to some of you, probably not most of you. I've been teaching myself on Skillshare for over two years now, and I'm currently up to 13 classes on things like gouache, watercolors, social media for artists, and drawing. But there's so much more to the platform. They have over 30,000 classes on tons and tons of topics, not just drawing, but also digital art and watercolors and all kinds of different painting mediums and oil paintings and acrylics. But also if you wanted to just learn more about a specific Adobe program, or if you wanted to up your writing skills, there's just so much to be had from this platform. Anyone can create a free account on Skillshare to have access to the free classes that are posted there by tons of different creators, and premium membership is pretty affordable at less than $10 a month for an annual membership. It's been really exciting to see this platform grow over the past couple of years, and I've gotten to see some of my fellow artists and friends create classes of their own. Denise from In Liquid Color has created some really beautiful high quality classes on watercolors and how to set up a palette, how to control water when you're working with the paints, just some really amazing things. And Jenny Granberry, who also has a YouTube channel here, has been sharing some fantastic insight for watercolor portraits. If you are interested in trying Skillshare and checking out any of these amazing classes and teachers, as well as the thousands of other classes that are available to premium members, you can try it out for free for two months via the link down in the description. All right, let's Let's jump into this painting. So for this piece, I am using my Sennelier watercolors. If you guys have seen my Sennelier set before, you would know that I have the whole 98 color, well, 97 color set. And these are just a few colors that I had picked out that I wanted to put into a palette. And I was really kind of itching to use my Sennelier paints again. I like the colors that are in this smaller palette. It's just 12 colors. And I wanted, I just wanted to work with the glow of these particular paints. I'm working with this hot press cotton watercolor paper by Canson. And the links to everything are down in the description if you want to check that out. I was inspired by bird's nests and robin's eggs for this piece and i just wanted to uh put something together that kind of reflected that and it's a little bit funny because around the time i was finishing up this piece my good friend miriam miriam tilson who you may know she has a youtube channel here she's amazing uh she was actually kind of working with a similar concept so she had been thinking about um robin's eggs and, and bird's nests and things like that but her concept is like totally different and i really love that i don't know if she shared that on instagram i think she might have anyway uh, i just thought that was interesting that we were kind of on the same page so while i'm working on this piece i want to talk to you guys about something that's been really kind of weighing heavily on my mind lately and that's what kind of artist i want to be and i feel like every artist especially artists who are content creators they kind of have to ask themselves this question at some point. And it's a question that I suppose I thought I knew the answer to before. And I'm kind of only realizing now that I haven't really been answering that question very clearly to myself or to you guys. And it's what kind of artist do I want to be? Specifically within the terms of asking myself, am I an artist who makes YouTube videos? Or am I a YouTuber who makes art? 
And there are definitely artists who clearly fit into one category or the other. So an artist who makes YouTube videos would be, you know, someone who creates art and also just happens to record the process and then shares that with you guys. As opposed to a YouTuber who makes art would be someone who kind of um, appeals more to the general YouTube community and does like challenges and I paint with every pink art supply that I own, you know, that sort of thing, which I think is fun and I'm really happy that that sort of content exists. But it's not really what I want to do. I want to make art. I want to grow and learn and practice and study as an artist. And I want to share that process with you guys. So what I really want to be is I want to be an artist who also happens to make YouTube videos. So that means sometimes I might share product reviews or talk to you guys about specific products. Sometimes I will talk to you about new things I'm learning. Like I've been really itching to do some cloud studies in gouache and I wanna feel comfortable and confident sharing things like that here with you guys because it's what I'm doing and I wanna share that. YouTube has been a really great audience building platform for me. We're itching closer and closer to 100,000 subscribers every day which is crazy at the time of the recording of this voiceover, we're at 96,000. And it's, of course, it's not just about numbers, but seeing that grow and seeing kind of that physical representation in, in the form of more people and new people to connect with is really exciting for me. And there have been so many amazing comments and people who are asking questions and getting involved and, and talking with one another and, it's just been really special. It's been really great getting to see this community grow and build. And it feels a little bit like coming full circle the past couple of weeks because I've been just sharing paintings and talking and rambling while I paint things, which is what I was doing when I first started this channel. One of the first things I did was a painting a day sort of series where I was painting in my sketchbook every day and I'd really I've been thinking a lot about doing something like that again where I just working in my sketchbook and talking with you guys about what I'm doing and and you know taking time to study and try new things I'm itching to do some oil studies again like get back into oil painting and do some more stuff with that I want to work with my acrylic gouache more and kind of work with more texture and more larger abstract shapes in my paintings. Like there are so many things I want to do and I want to explore. And I don't want my growth as an artist to be separate from my YouTube channel. I want them to work together. I don't want to have to try to do them both. I would, you know, separately and have to try to keep them apart. I would love for that work and that time to overlap so I can just share what I'm doing with you guys. I don't know how um broad that that will become because i also have always had dreams of creating a web comic and it's it seems weird to sit here and talk about creating a web comic while working on this big watercolor piece and they feel so distant and so far apart from one another right now but i don't think that they have to be i think that there can be a way for them to overlap and my stories and my characters are really important to me and I don't know how that's going to fit on that chan on this channel and if it's going to fit on this channel but we'll see we'll get there maybe we'll get there that would be really great if I could I just don't know I don't know what this channel will become but I'm kind of done trying to fit into a mold of being like well this is what other artists are doing on their YouTube channels or this is what other YouTubers are doing and also making art so you're probably not going to see me doing art challenge videos so much. I mean, there may be a couple that I really like. I love working with uh, limited color palettes. That's really fun. I would love to. Probably soon. We'll probably start up a series on that. I want to get a paint making video out to you guys soon. And then maybe we can start working with some limited color palettes. I think that would be really fun. Anyway, uh, I, here comes the rambly bit. But I'm excited just looking forward to the future of content here and my family just got back from vacation there wasn't really a break in youtube videos i kind of tried to plan ahead but we went out and stayed in a cabin in the woods and i did very little artwork but i did get to sit down with my aunt and my daughter and we all sat down at a table and just painted flowers together and that was so special and there's something about that experience just sitting down together 
and making art and just being with one another. There's something about that that I would love to capture the wholesomeness of and the honesty of and the intimacy and communicate that in this channel. I don't know if that is the sort of thing that will result in a successful YouTube career or lots of views on my videos and I, I, I don't want to care. <laughs> I want to just make the content I want to make and share it with the people who want to see it and let that be enough and let that be good and let it be exciting and the channel will become what it will become and the people who want to see it will see it and I want that to be good enough because I didn't start making art because I wanted it to be my job. I started making art because I wanted to make art and that's what I want to cling to and hold on to. And if it becomes something that's unhealthy and I become too focused on numbers and making it something that needs to succeed and needs to bring in money, I, I'm, I'm just not, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. So as the channel grows, there have been more potential opportunities for partnerships and sponsorships and I've been saying yes to some things and no to a lot of things because at the end of the day, I make YouTube videos, but I'm not going to fall into the standard category of a YouTuber. I'm an artist and I make YouTube videos. So there may be some things that I will do and a lot of things that I won't. And I don't know, I guess, it, is it kind of like breaking the fourth wall of YouTube to talk about this stuff? I, I just, I don't want to care anymore. I'm just going to talk about what I, what I want to and share with you guys and because I like being able to connect with you guys in that way. So I'm excited to get to, you know, support things like Skillshare because I've been teaching there for a long time. I've been taking classes there for a long time and I'm comfortable sharing them with you guys. So if you're interested in checking out Skillshare, you can follow the link down in the description for two free months of premium membership. As always, you can check out any of my classes and some of my fellow artists who are doing amazing things and making classes of their own. So thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch this video and to hang out with me. And I will see you all next week. Bye-bye.